Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would give you guys a little update on what has been going on. It has been a minute. I swear it's always been a minute every time I upload a video. But I digress. So I am officially approved and have scheduled my vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I am so excited. Uh, like holy moly. I feel like the last time I talked to you guys, I don't even know if I even said anything or if I remember. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. But I set up an appointment with my PCM. Um, he put the referral in for my um, surgeon and for my nutrition. And then that was a hot mess. Y'all, nutrition has been a mess. So since they offer the service on base, um, usually they don't refer you off base if they have the services on base for you. But my provider was like, and PC was like, don't worry, I got you. He's like, where you want to go? We'll put your referral in. <laughs> uh, so the facility that my referral went to is in network, but my provider that I saw was not in network. They're outside my network with TRICARE Prime. So they have to fill out a form. They're working on getting it situated. They know it's a big mess. This is the first time it's ever happened with them. So they're working with um, me and they're working to do what they have to do. So I will not have to pay out of pocket for this. So my fingers are crossed on that front. Um, yeah, so I had four nutrition appointments and I did every single, I went for four months, once a month for those bad boys. I saw my surgeon, I had a consult with my surgeon. He um, gave me my options and he either said I was a better, I was a great candidate for the vertical sleeve, so that's the one I opted with. Um, and then after that, I got my labs done. And then last week, I had my upper GI endoscopy. Y'all, excuse me, I just ate dinner. I was so nervous. I was so nervous because I was like, ah, because I had a, a pre op for the endo with the um, the PA with my uh, surgeon's office. And I was like, am I going to be awake for this? Because sometimes, I know it just depends on facility. Sometimes you're awake and they give you a very light sed sedative where you're still quote unquote awake. Um, sometimes they honestly just like numb your throat. It just depends on the facility. And he was like, yeah, you'll be awake. I don't want to be awake for this. I don't want to be able to watch this happening. So then the pre, uh, pre admissions called and she was getting everything that she needed for my, um, procedure, my, my outpatient procedure. <laughs> and she's like, so do you have any questions for me? I'm like, Am I going to be awake? And she's like, no, girl, don't worry. We give you some propofol and you'll be out. And I was like, oh, thank goodness, thank goodness. Um, so my showtime was 830. I was in the procedure and awake by, I think, like 1030. I, I, and I don't remember the time to be specific. But they give you, I was expecting a spray because when I was in a medical school, well, nursing school and I witnessed when I was in outpatient surgery um, I witnessed them use the spray so I don't know if they still have the spray they probably do still offer it I honestly have no idea <clears throat> so I'm assuming they still offer it but um, so the nurse comes in she's like hey I'm so-and-so I'm with your so-and-so your surgeon I'm gonna be one of the nurses in there with you no no, no. I was like, okay. She's like, so this is the stuff you have to take. And I'm like, awesome. She's like, it's nasty. She's like, you want me to lie to you? I was like, no, stop. No, Arlo. I was like, no, girl, don't lie to me. Tell me how it is. Tell me the truth. And she's like, okay, well, it's gross. You got to switch it around for 30 seconds. You ain't timing it. I'm timing it. So that way you can't like jip yourself out. 
So this stuff tastes like plastic, metal, chemical. I don't know what. And it is the consistency of like honey. And I had to gurgle it in the back of my throat. So I'm sitting there like <laughs> trying to gurgle this honey like substance, y'all. And she's like, okay, swallow. <laughs> so, and then, like, <laughs> y'all, like my mouth completely numb, my throat completely numb. I felt my saliva pull, like they, they wheeled me back into the little procedure room. I feel my saliva pulling like right in here, like you know when you're in the dentist's office but they suction it out. I feel it pulling and I'm just like, do I chance it? Do I choke? I don't know. I, 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 I might just choke on my spit from trying to swallow. So I'm like, I like swallowed it and it was fine, but then I felt it pulling again and I'm like <laughs> So um uh yeah. So then um no 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 stop. Um so then they put that like thing in your mouth to keep your mouth open and a guard, I have no idea what it's called. Stop for the scope to go down. So they put that on. And of course they're monitor monitoring your vitals. And all of a sudden I just hear my, like I'm claustrophobic. Like masks on my face, claustro, like not like a regular mask, sir. Um, like I can wear like the little surgical masks and I'm fine. But like the mask, oxygen masks, I don't know why, but I get very claustrophobic wearing it. Like I feel like I can't breathe, even though clearly it's giving you oxygen so anyway so they put that little thing in my mouth and they like wrap it around your head and all of a sudden i hear my my pulse just start going beep 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 <laughs> and i'm just like and then she just put her under so so she's like the the anesthesiologist nurse anesthetist anesthetist oh, i can't i'm butchering that anyway she's like Okay, take some deep breaths. Mind you, I'm trying to take deep... It, it was hard to breathe through my mouth. Everything was dumb. So, like, I'm breathing through my nose. And then she's like, oh, wait, she needs the gas mask. They put the gas mask on. It's even worse. I'm just like, I want this to be over already. Anyways. So she's like, okay, take some deep breaths. I lean my head back. I take deep breaths. I open my eyes after, like, a split second. And everything is just, like like fuzzy and hazy and I'm like I'm just closing my eyes again the next thing I know I'm waking up to two nurses um just t telling me hey how you doing uh, yeah and then um they went and they grabbed my husband um I told my husband my results um and then I went home with I don't honestly know how long I was like in the recovery room I don't know. All I remember is waking up, and literally after waking up, I was in there for maybe like maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then I, then we left and came home. Um. So yeah. So that was that was great. And then I had an appointment scheduled with my surgeon today for my pre-op, letting me know what my last meal is, what I need to, what my liquid diet starts so um, it'll be like two days um, of clear liquids and three protein shakes and then the following day will be my surgery day which I'm very excited for um, I'm not gonna lie like I logged on to my and I saw that the inpatient was approved and I was like there's no way like no way that they approved my my surgery like I was like are you Tricare for what? Want? Like Tricare? Or like, stop it. So <laughs> I called my mom and I'm like, Mom. I was like, because if it was for my outpatient procedure, it would clearly say outpatient. And she's like, well, why don't you give him a call tomorrow and and ask? And I'm like, I was like, you know what? I have to see my. 
my um the PA ne next week anyway so I'll just wait until then the very next day I got a call from the nurse she's like it was approved so let's get you scheduled I'm like sweet let's go so yeah very excited um like I said it has been a very long and short process at the exact same time um no July August September October yeah four months is four or five months is that how long it took yeah so it'll be roughly it'll be five months from the start to when I have my surgery so a five month process very fast um, I'm very excited so I just wanted to give you guys that update um, so yeah I definitely will be recording that's Arlo by the way I don't know if I've introduced him to the channel I have he's a mess he's my husband's dog he's not all there I mean he is he's brilliant but anyways so I definitely will be recording when I start my liquid diet my surgery and everything following that I just wanted to give you guys a fun fast little update so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like subscribe questions comments leave them down below and I will catch you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.